eyes. I think we are live. I'm just checking it on my phone. Doesn't show anything. Okay, well. So hello everyone, Saina here again with a new video. Uh, I'm just checking on my cell phone this go live to make sure I'm go live properly and everything is okay and you can see uh, the video nice and clear. So we are at day one of attraction uh, five day to 10k challenge and I'm so excited to start this. Uh, because this is gonna be your roadmap to uh, start growing your business online and start getting more clients from Facebook. Uh, I also had some people reached out to me and they were uh, they were asking about the um, attraction marketing masterclass because the website is not available anymore. Uh, it's because the registration deadline is passed. We already started that masterclass. It's going to be for six weeks. Uh, and the, the new uh, registration website will be available after immediately after this challenge. So uh, whatever you see and learn inside this five day to 10K challenge, uh, it's just the, uh, how you say, it's just a sneak peek of um, what I teach in uh in the master class so the master class i changed the name to a uh, client attraction boot camp that was a, a better name for it it's gonna be for six weeks and i will announce all the details at the end of this channels at the end of this challenge for now let's focus on the uh five day client attraction challenge and i have so much to teach you uh, so first of all before we start let me know uh, if you are watching this live uh, comment below live if you are watching this uh, watching the replay comment below replay uh, if you want to comment uh, like for example if you have any questions if you want to comment it during the live session there is a link uh, in the description of this video because I'm going live with uh, StreamYard uh, so you just need to click on that link and allow uh, StreamYard to show your name on name and comment in this go live. So I can see your comment here, and uh, if you have any questions, I can answer your questions. Okay. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, now, uh, as I uh, talked about the. Uh, the challenge outline in my last video. Uh, day one will be about the first and one of the most important steps that you need to implement uh, in order to start uh, growing your business organically on Facebook, and that is optimizing uh, your Facebook profile. Uh, because uh, I, I checked a lot of profiles in, in the group, uh, a lot of profiles of the members, and I still see that uh, your profiles are not primed yet to attract clients. And this is the very first uh, important step to start attracting clients to yourself. So uh, that's the whole concept of this challenge and this training. Uh, the whole idea is that uh, instead of you chasing after people, chasing after clients, begging them to check your link, check your offer, uh, make them come to you and ask for your uh, service and uh, for your business. Make them to ask you to come to you and ask you, hey, what do you do? How can I work with you? This is the whole idea. So let's get started. I, I prepared a, a presentation file, so uh, I'm going to share it. Before we start again, uh, I want to repeat it. I, I talked about it in my last video, but again, I, I want to tell how it works. Every time I go live, I will talk about uh, one step 
and I will give you the details and tell you how to implement it. Uh, once the live is done, please, please don't just watch it and put it aside. Other people out there, they are charging hundreds of dollars just to teach you this stuff, but I'm giving it to you for free. So, uh, when you watch the live video, just start implementing it. I'm going to post the assignment. Po uh, I'm going to create the assignment post, uh, right after this go live. So, and at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, tell you what the assignment is please start implementing it, do your assignment. So hopefully you will start seeing some results. Okay, so let's get started now. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna, good. So the five day to 10k challenge day one optimize your profile now uh, when people start businesses uh, especially when you are at the startup uh, people start making some deadly mistakes so i want to tell you about these mistakes and you think about it, you, you look at yourself. And if you see that you are making one of these mistakes, uh, please stop doing this. Like, uh, you need to take a step back and look at the whole process and start doing it correctly. So, and you cannot do this, uh, before you know where you are making that mistake. Okay. So, uh, Usually startups, uh, people, when they start a new business, uh, they spend a lot of time and money on creating a logo or a website or a sales funnel or, um, or uh, creating email marketing series, or they spend a lot of time, they create a Facebook group and, uh, or a Facebook business page or an Instagram page, or they waste money on paid ads. So here's the thing, I said it before and I'm going to repeat it again. You don't need any of these in order to start a business. You don't need any of that. Okay. Uh, so this is what happens. You, you create a website and then, uh, you create a website and then you don't know how to bring in people, how to bring people to your website, how to drive traffic to your website. Uh, you create a logo, but you don't know anything about branding. You don't know how to brand yourself, how to create your messaging, uh, how to build the authority for that brand. You create a sales funnel. You don't know how to use it. You create a Facebook group, then you don't know how to fill in that Facebook group with your target audience. You create a Facebook business page, then you don't know how to use that business page, how to get likes on your business page. Uh, uh, and here's the thing, even today, now business pages have much less reach than they had in the past. So creating a Facebook business page, if you have any business page and you are just posting on your business page, hoping that people will see your posts, it doesn't do anything for you because business pages on Facebook today, they don't have enough reach. Only maybe two, three percent of your whole uh, followers on your business page will see your posts. So it doesn't uh, add anything to your business. Or you create an Instagram page for your business and you don't know now uh, how to uh, get followers on Instagram, how to grow, how to brand yourself on Instagram. Uh, you waste money on paid ads because you don't know how to target people when you are running paid ads. There are like a lot of details that you need to consider for paid ads to make it prof profitable. So, uh, and eventually when you don't know those details, uh, you're going to lose money on paid ads. And this is a deadly mistake. I myself, when I just started, 
uh, I had this uh, mis uh, I had this uh, uh, myth that that if I start paid ads and I invest money on paid ads, I'm gonna have a lot of clients and I'm gonna grow fast. But what happened was I just lost three thousand dollar on paid ads and I didn't get any clients, not even a single sale. So I, I just wasted my time and money and resources on paid ads. Then I learned that uh, I can just grow my business by organic marketing on Facebook. So, and again, a lot of people, they don't know how to do this organic marketing thing. Uh, they do it through traditional ways traditional ways i mean uh they don't have a, a proper understanding of uh, how to do the organic outreach how they do it is that they add people as friends as soon as that person accepts a friend request immediately after they uh they spam them with their link you threw your link uh your link to your website your link to your facebook group or you start dm pitching them or uh, when a person comments uh, or engages with your posters, immediately people start like pitching you with something. Hey, thank you for commenting on my post. Here's my link, maybe you'd like to check it. I mean, uh, I'm sure every single one of you, you have, you have been pitched at least once. And I'm receiving at least five, six uh, pitches every day. All of them are, uh, you know, one of those awkward pitches. So what I learned is that people don't mind to get pitched as long as it's a good pitch. But the thing is, uh, a lot of pitches out there, they are awkward. Uh, people don't mind to buy stuff, but they don't like to be sold. So when you start messaging them like that, before they show any interest, it means that you are trying to sell them, sell them something and they don't like it. They like to buy it themselves. So that's why it's important to uh, attract their attention, get their interest and make them to ask you to buy, to, to work with you. This way there, there won't be any objection or rejection anymore. Another mistake that new online business owners they do is uh, they don't know what their niche is. This is very important. When I ask people like who your niche is, like who is your target audience, who is your ideal clients, they have no idea. Or they just have a vague idea. They know generally, for example, um, my niche is women entrepreneurs who want to start a business. This is so general. My niche is... Um, for example, uh, I work in health and wellness, and my niche is people who want to start eating healthy. <laughs> this is so general. You really need to know exactly who your niche is, and you really need to niche down. You cannot be that general. You cannot serve everyone. And on day two, I'm going to teach you exactly how to define your niche. And uh, another mistake uh, online uh, new online entrepreneurs, especially startups, they do is that they don't have a clear offer. They just know that uh, they can help people to grow their business or they can help people to lose weight uh, or uh, they can help people to start an, uh, a new online business or to make two, three, two, three K a month or they have a product to sell. They make handcrafts like jewelries or uh, they, they are in a uh, consultation business, they are realtors, but the offer is not clear. You need to have a crystal clear offer. Like when you talk to your target audience, your target audience should know exactly what your offer is and how you can help them, how your offer can solve a solution for them, can solve a problem for them. So you need to work on your offer and create a clear offer, a clear messaging. Another mistake is that they don't have a strategy and plan in place to get leads. I'm sure a lot of you, you are online on Facebook, on Instagram, but you have no idea how to get leads. And a lot of you, I, I see you, I'm watching you every day. 
uh, you are in different, maybe more than 10, 20 Facebook groups, and you're just randomly posting on in every group, hoping that people will uh, comment on your posters and you will get some leads. Now, some of those posters may work, but how, what if you could make it like really consistent? Like for example, I myself, every time I post uh, in, 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 in groups, I have a few groups that I post in, including my own group. But every time I post on other groups, I have at least 100 leads from every single post. So you need to have a strategy and plan to know how to post in Facebook group to get the attention of your ideal clients so they will um, engage with your post in those groups. Another mistake is that they don't know how to convert leads to sell. You know, so for example, now you have leads, okay? Let's say you, you posted in a few groups, you have 100 leads, and some of them, they are messaging you, you, you started a conversation in Messenger. Now you don't know how to direct that conversation and turn it to a sale. This is the most important point. If you don't know how to convert that lead to a paying client, so what's the point of having leads? right and another uh mistake that they do is that they spam people on social media i just talked about it uh especially it happens to me every time i post on facebook because now on those uh, groups people know that my posters uh receive a lot of comments they start um spamming my original post so and some of you 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 may do that, but it's not the right way of doing it because people know that you are spamming them and they, they will reject you. Or when you just threw your link through Messenger or uh, in replying to different comments. So it's not, let's say it's not professional. And I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to correct those mistakes. So you will start building your brand, your, um, your uh your authority and your the, your relationship with your ideal uh clients so in the future it will be easier for you to convert those leads and to convert those likes and hearts and comments on your posters to paying clients so now what's the best way to start and grow on a lean budget this strategy that I'm, uh, I, I, I'm going to teach you during these five days uh, is actually the best way to grow your business on a lean budget. Because let's, let's face it, we, when we start a business, we don't have a huge budget to spend on advertising or to go directly on paid ads and spend like two, three thousand dollars to start seeing results or to or to spend thousands of dollars on website and sales funnels and to get everything ready and to automate those stuff. So the best way to start is organic marketing, organic, organic outreach. And this is how I started all my businesses. This is my general strategy. I start by organic marketing. I don't spend any money from my pocket on branding, on website, on sales funnel, on paid ads, nothing. I start with organic marketing. Once I start getting organic clients, once I generate five to 10K consistently every month, now I reinvest that money on paid strategies, on automation, on sales funnels. So this way I'm not losing any money from my own pocket, I am spending the money from my net profits and reinvesting into the business. And this is the best way to grow. You don't, and if you have an extra budget, it's, it's better for you because now you can spend that budget on another area in your business to grow even more and grow faster. So you don't need uh, any fancy tools. Uh, you can start just by using your uh, social media profile. And this strategy that I'm gonna uh, teach you uh, is actually 
uh, repeatable and duplicable. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it on Facebook, but you can easily copy that for Instagram, for LinkedIn, for other uh, social media platforms. So all you need to start is simply your Facebook profile or let's say IG pro page, which is free and everyone can have it for free and you don't need to pay anything for that. All the features are free. Everything is there. So now people ask me which social media platform we should work on. So let me tell you something. There is nothing uh, such as like um, Facebook is better than Instagram or Instagram better than Facebook or now TikTok is the new thing or Clubhouse is the new thing. The fact is that every single platform out there, it works. Now, some people, they couldn't make Facebook work for them. So they say, ah, oh, Facebook doesn't work. It's the Instagram is the, is the go-to platform now. Or some people, they couldn't make Instagram work for them. Now they say, oh, YouTube is the go-to platform now. Uh, it's all some myths, myths of the social media. The truth is that every single platform out there works. I myself, I used just my Facebook profile. I grow my business to six figures only by posting my Facebook profile three years ago when I started. I didn't have a group. I didn't have a business page. I didn't have Instagram page. I just started on Instagram like three months ago. So, and I'm not active on TikTok or YouTube. I'm still on Facebook because now I know ins and outs of Facebook. I know all the, you know, uh, tricks of the Facebook and I'm good at it. And I know many other people who are generating hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook. I also know people who are generating hundreds of thousands on Instagram, also on YouTube, also on TikTok. But now which pl platform you need to focus on, it all depends on you. But the most important thing is that you need to choose one single social media platform. Don't go after several platforms. Some people think that um, in order to increase their visibility, in order to put themselves, their business in front of more eyes, they need to be everywhere. They have a Facebook group, Facebook page, Instagram profile. Uh, they have a YouTube channel. They are on TikTok. But let's, let's be honest, like how much time do you have during a day to spend on all these platforms? Because we all know that if you want to be successful, for example, on Instagram, you should post at least once a day and you should post on your story. And now with the new um and new changes in algorithm now you need to uh, be actively creating reels and on facebook you need to be posting you need to do go lives and uh you need to post on your story youtube if you want to grow there you need to post at least one video a day which takes a lot of time to create and edit on tiktok the same you need to at least be posting two videos a day to grow uh, fast so how much time do you have do you have in a day to spend on all these platforms? So what happens is that you just post once in a while on this platform, that platform, and you don't grow on any of them. So you spread yourself thin. But once you focus on one single platform, then you can really work on it and start growing your business on that. Once you did that, now you have actually you have enough money to hire a virtual assistant, to hire a social media uh, manager, to focus on the other platforms, to do the work for you. Like for example, now I created my Instagram profile, but I'm not doing the posting or creating the graphics. It takes a lot of, lot of time. So I, I hired someone. I'm paying people monthly to grow my Instagram page for me. That's it. And this is what you need to do. So how to choose that social media platform? It all depends on your business, on your uh, target audience, uh, and on your skills. For example, if you want to go on TikTok, you really need to be comfortable with making videos and editing videos. 
or if you want to be on Instagram, you really need to be good uh, in in visual effects, like creating graphics and, you know, creating an aesthetic like feed and with your content, with your hashtag strategy. If you have the, you know, skills and maybe you don't have the skills, but if you really like to learn it, if you have the patience to learn it, then go after Instagram. For myself, I'm good in uh, creating posters. So Facebook is not as a uh, visual as Instagram. So you don't need to create all those uh, uh, like aesthetic feed or graphics and everything. Uh, posting a simple photo would be enough. Just a proper photo would be enough for your post. But now about the content, I'm good in creating that content. So my focus was on Facebook. So again, choose one single platform and focus on this until you grow at least to 5k 10k consistent on that platform then move to the other ones so as i said the whole idea is to start organic and once you start generating a consistent stream of uh, monthly revenue of 5k to 10k now you can scale with paid strategies and you can move to the other platforms and grow even more now so uh, you need to define, before you start any strategy, you need to know what your goal is. When I ask people what your goal is, they just say, uh, I want to earn more money. I want to be comfortable or um, I want to be successful. So these are all general goals. If you want to earn more money, how much money you want to earn? I know that people like to earn like $100,000 a month, for example. All good, all possible, why not? But now let's break it down, for example, because you cannot hit your first 100K month before you hit your first 50K month, and you cannot hit your first 50K month before you hit your first 10K month, and you, you cannot hit your first 10K month before you hit your first 5K month. So you need to break it down. So you really need to know how much you want to earn per every month. Is it 5K, 10K, 20K? Once you know that answer, now you need to know how many leads per month you need to create that result. Now the number of clients that you need per month. Now the number, or for example, if you are a, a network marketer, you need to know how many recruits do you, do you need to have uh, per month? Or if you are a product-based business, how many products do you need to sell per month? So um, usually, for example, the conversion rate is 20% ideally. So let's say if you have uh, 100 leads, ideally, if you are even average in sales, you should be able to convert 20% of them as your clients. It's just a rule of thumb. So now if you are good in sales, like myself, I had my conversion rate is at least 50% because I know how to target people, how to qualify my leads and how to close my sales. So if I have 100 leads, I know that I can convert 50, 50 of them to paying clients. So again, it all depends on your skills. So you need to do the calculation for yourself. For yourself. Now, let's say your goal is $10,000 a month. Okay. so. Now uh, you want to earn, uh, you, uh, your earning per client is $500, okay? So uh, if you are a service-based uh, business, you charge $500 per, per client, or even if you have a product, your, um, your benefit is uh, $500 per client. So in this case, you need 20 clients a month to hit $10,000. Now, if let's say your conversion rate is 10% or 20%, so this means you need 200, or if the conversion rate is 20%, you need 100 high quality leads. High quality leads, I mean that you know who your uh, target audience is, and you know what your offer is, and you also, when you find your leads, uh, you you pre-qualify them. 
So now those leads are high quality. It means that there's a good chance that you can convert them. It's not just any kind of leads because a lot of leads out there, they are like cheap leads. Uh, you, you waste a lot of time, you know, talking to them, uh, continuing a conversation with them and you book a call with them and at the end of the call, they don't buy because you didn't qualify them at the beginning. So now if you earn $100 per client, you need 100 clients uh, a month to hit $10,000. So at 10% conversion rate, you need 1,000 leads and at 20% conversion rate, you need 500 high quality leads. So uh, now I hope you, you have a better understanding, you have a better idea of how to do your calculation to know, for example, first of all, to, um, to uh, determine your goal, your financial goal, to say how much exactly you want per month, and then to calculate in order to hit that number, hit that goal, how many leads you want, you need, and how many clients you need. And then you focus on that number. And once you work with focus and consistency, uh, I can guarantee you, you, you can hit that number. It's not hard. Earning consistent $5,000, $10,000 per month online is nothing. You can easily do that. And it's not a rock and science. It's just implement this simple strategy that I'm going to show you and you will get there. So now uh, how the challenge works. Again, I go live for five days every other day and uh, I leave one day to do the homework. Uh, in the guide section in the group, uh, the guide section is right uh, behind the cover page, behind the cover of the group. There are some tabs. One of the tabs are the guide is the guide tab. Click on that. You will see the homework posters there. On every post, there are going to be five posters. Please do your assignment and uh, post it in the group or, uh, or comment it on the assignment post in that section. And I'm going to send you uh, the worksheets, the templates, uh, and the files that you need to complete your assignment. So uh, please follow up. Uh, please uh, do the assignment and follow up in the group. And uh, stay uh, consistent with your daily actions and be present in Go Lives. Uh, if you are not able to watch the go live, if you miss it, uh, the replay will be again in the guide section and in the group, you can easily find that. But as I said, again, people out there, they are charging hundreds of dollars just to teach these strategies. I'm giving it for you for free, but I'm telling you, it's not gonna be available forever in the group. Once I finish the challenge, the videos will be available for a month or two. After that, I'm gonna delete them. Okay, so use it, don't miss that. So this, I call it implement or die because uh, if you are really serious to grow your business, you know, to take your business off the ground, this is a great strategy to implement. So, stay committed to your why <laughs> now the challenge outlined again day one optimize your profile that i'm going to teach it now uh, and i'm going to show you how to turn your profile into a client getting machine your profile is really important it's the first step to attract your ideal clients to get their attention day two is about defining your niche you need to know exactly who your ideal client is and i'm going to help you to find that answer day three is about what your offer is i'm going to help you to define your offer and then according to your offer define your messaging and brand yourself day four is about posting strategy again how to brand yourself exactly how to post on facebook uh, to um, attract clients to gain engagement and to trigger the buying signal in your ideal client. And day five is to, I'm going to show you how to work on Facebook algorithm. So uh, the algorithm will work in your favor and you will get in front of more eyes. Uh, we're going to 
uh, work on Facebook algorithm to boost it so it will show your posts to more people in the future. Okay, now let's get started. So this is the client journey, okay? Um, first, is, it, it starts with discovery. So your target audience sees your posts. Now, it doesn't matter. You, they may just uh, find your profile, visit your profile accidentally, or they may see your post somewhere in, in, a, in the Facebook groups, and they like your post, they engage your post, and they may click on your profile to see who you are, especially if your posts resonate with them. Like, for example, I'm, uh, I'm a busy entrepreneur. I'm looking to lose weight. I don't have time to go to gym. Now, one of you, you work in fitness world, and you post exactly something about that, how you add, you, you create some value posts about how to lose weight only by uh, choosing proper nutrition and without going to gym. And uh, I'm hooked, like I'm reading that post and I'm really interested because it resonates. And now I click on your name because I'm, I'm curious who this person is because she's talking exactly about what I was looking for. And I like to connect. So I click on your profile. So the next step is engage. People engage with your post if they resonate, if your posts resonate with them, if they are interested, uh, they engage with your post. But if your post doesn't relate, they won't engage, they just scroll down to the next post. Then they want to connect, as I said. Uh, if they are really intrigued, like they are really uh, interested in, in your posting, uh, they may want to connect. So they check your profile. And if your profile is interesting, they may want to add you as a friend. So in this step, it's really important that your profile uh, is optimized because if your profile is not optimized, they're going to leave. But if your profile is optimized, when they check your profile, if they can clearly see who you are, what you do, who you serve, how you serve, they want to stay connected. They add you as friend. So for example, I check your profile. If all I see is that your, uh, your, your dog's picture in the profile picture and the cover photo is uh, some, I don't know, flowers, and there's nothing special in your posters, all you post is, uh, you know, uh, is, is the memories about your you going out to restaurant with your friends or you just share some memes from the others. So there is nothing for me. So I will not be interested to add you as a friend because there's nothing for me. But when I check your profile, if I see your nice clear, clear picture of your face, if your cover photo is optimized, if your bio is there, your intro is uh, properly filled in and I, then I read your posts. I see that, wow, this person is delivering so much value in their posts. I started reading your posts because I'm learning so much stuff from your posts. Now I say, this is my girl. I want to follow her. And maybe in the future, I will, uh, I will uh, come back to her for, to see how she can help me to lose weight. So this is how it happens. So that's why it's so important that you optimize your prime, your Facebook profile then they start following you so i send you a friend request now we are friends on on facebook now i start following you because we are friends now every time you post facebook show your posts to me so i start following you reading your posts and eventually at some point i will convert to a buying client and I'm going to show you in the posting strategy how to convert your uh, followers to clients. Now, if your content, if your posting doesn't relate and with your um, with your friends, they won't follow you anymore. They won't engage with your posts anymore. For example, I followed you because you are a specialist in weight loss, and now all you post on your profile are is everything but weight loss. You post about your family. You post about your pet about your uh, vacation, but I don't receive any value from your posts. So I won't engage. And when I don't engage, 
Facebook will not show your posts anymore to me. So that's the key. And then uh, again, in your posting strategies, uh, at eventually at some point, you will convert me as a paying client. So this is the whole idea. This is the whole uh, client journey when they start connecting with you on Facebook. Now on a Facebook profile, there are some um, elements that you need to optimize. And those elements are first profile picture, profile photo. Second important element is your cover photo. Third important element is your bio. These are super important because once someone click on your profile, these are the first three things that the person sees. Your profile photo, cover photo, bio. If that don't uh, resonate with them, if they don't relate, they're gonna leave. But if they relate, they, they're gonna click on that ad, ad friend button. So, and here, uh, it's really important that uh, you make your profile public. Don't make it uh, private, change the settings to public so people can add you as a friend. Um, I want to uh, give a bit more details about that because it's, it's really important. A lot of people set their profile to private so people won't be able to add them. I know it's annoying sometimes you receive a lot of friend requests, so you don't want that. You turn your profile setting to private. I understand, but if you want to start earning money on Facebook, you need to turn that on to public. And also, uh, turn your posting uh, uh, setting to public as well, uh, so everyone can see your posts. Now, if you post uh, any uh, private picture that you don't want other people to see that, you can change the setting to private for that specific post. But in general, uh, you need to uh, change the whole setting of your profile to public so people will be able to see that. So now, uh, let's start with profile photo. Now, here are some profile photo mistakes that people do check your profile photo and check these mistakes. If you are doing any of them, you need to change your uh, profile photo. So these are, uh, first of all, they, they, uh, they have a low quality photo, a low resolution or dark photo on their profile. Or they don't show the face in the profile. Uh, the picture is from too far or from behind or from the side. So people don't see the full face. This is another mistake because people check your profile and they want to see who you are. Or uh, their profile photo is with family or friends. There are like two, three people in the profile. Again, that's a big mistake. This is not your family or friends or your kids profile. This is your profile. And this is very important in your branding process because this is about you. It's not about your business. It's not about your product. Uh, you, you are branding yourself in social media. So why, why you are branding yourself? So people will trust you in the future. You will be able to make a relationship with your uh, ideal clients. You will be able to build your authority. And then once you do all these, now when you ask people to click on your link to check your offer, they will do it because now they know you, they know what you do, who you are, and they trust you. So the first step of building that uh, brand is simply your profile photo. So please post your own photo. Also, I see people like they, they put photo of their pet. I, I click on a profile like, it's a photo of a dog or it's photo of their kids or it's a non-related photo like a flower 
or their cartoon that I see is, is on trend now, like they are posting the cartoon of their, their photo, or they post the business logo or product photo. A lot of people who are product-based or MLMers, network marketers, they post a product photo as a profile photo, or they, post, they, post, they put their business logo as the profile picture. This is so wrong. Especially if you are doing that, this last one product or business logo, people are gonna get, leave right away. Because let's say I check your profile and there's a product photo there. So I will say right away, this person is like, this is a business profile and I don't wanna add this profile because they're gonna pitch me for sure with something. So I'm gonna leave right away. I won't even click on your profile to check it. Now, if your profile a flower or a cartoon, like, again, I, I, I wouldn't want to connect because we are humans. Like, we, we want to connect with humans. I mean, if I cannot see who you are, why should I want to connect? And again, it's not your kid's profile or your dog's or cat's profile. It's your profile. So for please, please change that picture. If you are doing any of these mistakes, please change your profile picture. Put a high quality picture. So how your profile photo should be, it should definitely be your own photo. Not with your husband, not with your boyfriend, not with your kids, nothing else, only you. The brand is you, you are the brand of your business, okay? You, your face is the face of the brand. So put your full face picture, not from the side like this, you know, not from behind, just full face a light photo, high quality, bright photo, and preferably with a smiling face because people tend to trust more the smiling faces. It's not a must, but it's always nice to see a smiling face in a photo, right? So, and you can use, this is always my choice to use vibrant colors, like for example, red or green, they attract the most attention instead of like black and you can also upload a video on your profile for this option uh you can only uh, upload a video as a profile image you can upload a profile video from mobile only you don't have that option from desktop if you uh, if you want to upload a video do it from your cell phone so the profile name. This is not something uh, super important or a must to do, but uh, I recommend you to do it. Uh, this is about when your name is long. For example, you have two, uh, a first name, a nickname, and then your family name. So I prefer to use the short version of that. Or some people, I do some profile that are four words. Uh, first name, nickname, and then two family names. I guess they are married, so they are also using the husband's uh, last name and their own last name. So it's really long. So shorten it a bit because your name also is a, an important part of your brand. Okay. So for example, you see Grand Cardone. His name is the brand now. Everyone knows Grand Cardone as Grand Cardone. He is the brand. Like Gary V, his name is the brand. Or uh, uh, Tony Robbins. Like all those big names, they are the brand themselves. So that's why your, your name is important in your branding. They, people should be able to remember your name. Now, I, I just picked that name from uh, one of the Facebook, one of the group members. Uh, don't take it personally. I, I'm just giving some advice. For example, Iris Hatchet Welsh. This is a two name family, like two word family name. But what's happening is that, for example, when someone has two names, like a first name and a nickname, they don't use both. For example, um, if your name is, uh, I don't know, uh, Mary Elizabeth, for example, people don't call you Mary Elizabeth. They either call you 
Elizabeth or Liz or whatever, or they call you Mary. So there's one name that you are using like all the time and people call you with that name. So use that name. Or when you have two family names, people call you with one of those names. They don't, for example, I don't think they, they call this person like Hatchet Welsh. They, they use like maybe Irish Welsh or Eilish Hatchet. So uh, shorten it a bit so people can easily uh, remember your name by the time when they see more of your posters, they remember you. They, that's a, an important part of the branding process. And now cover photo. Cover photo is super important in the profile optimization. Because now in, in your profile photo, people see your face. Now in the cover photo, there are the information about yourself. And they should see information about you. But people, uh, they are doing some big mistake with their cover photo. They don't pay attention to that. So these mistakes are they put either, again, low quality photo, low resolution, dark photos, or uh, they put photos with the family or friends at a restaurant, in a, in a wedding, on a vacation, on the beach. Or they put, again, photos of pets or kids or non-related photos of nature, of food, of a waterfall. Or again, worst of all, business logo or product photo or no photo at all. These are huge mistakes because I want to go back there. Um, here. As you see, especially on cell phone, you see the first three parts. And most, like 70% of people, they are active on cell phone. They check your profile on cell phone. So they see your face in the, in, in the profile photo. Now the cover photo should be a showcase for, for your brand and your business and what you do. So here I have my logo, my name, and a statement of what I do. So now when someone checks my profile, they see from my bio, from my name, who I am, how do I look? From my bio and from my cover, they right away, they know that I'm a business coach. And I help, for example, women entrepreneurs to do this, this, this. So they know right away what I do, if I can help them or not. So this is really important to use your, uh, your cover photo to design it properly. And uh, this can be a great conversion point for you because imagine someone looks at your profile, your cover photo, and they click that add friend button. Now, these are your true uh, ideal clients who wants to follow you for some reason. They, they relate, they resonate with your profile, with what you do, who you are, and now they want to follow you. And in the future, you will have a great chance to convert them to paying clients. Now, how your cover photo should be, it should be a high resolution and bright. You need to design your cover photo, design it properly. You can use a Canva app. It's the simplest app, uh, has lots of free features, and you can simply use it to, even on your cell phone, it takes only like 10, 15 minutes to design a cover photo. So use this app at the beginning. You don't need a, 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 an awesome graphics or a great, a greatly designed photo for your cover photo. You can do it later. For now, just uh, des designing a cover photo with Canva is enough. You don't need anything more. Uh, it's preferable if you include your own photo. It's not mandatory, but it would be nice if, if you, it, it gives a better look. And uh, I personally think that it's more trusting for people when they see your photo, now your statement at this on the side, so they connect these two together. Uh, if you are not comfortable with putting your own photo, it's still okay. You don't have to do that. It's just a recommendation. Include your statement. This is the most important. A lot of people, they, they design, like, they pay attention to their cover photo. They put their photo. 
the statement is they just put their website for it for example or they just say uh if you want to learn more about my service like click on 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 the link in my bio or uh message me or something like that it's so vague like it doesn't deliver any message so people it doesn't give any idea to people who check your profile so it's super important that you include your statement you need to your statement aka help statement or vision statement or i help statement it has different names i call it just simply statement so your statement should exactly tell you about what you do who you serve and how you serve just simple one or two line nothing more don't make it a long one paragraph statement it shouldn't be more than two sentences i would even strongly recommend you to keep to keep it one sentence so definitely include your statement even if you don't put your photo your statement has to be there and then you can choose to put a call to action for example if you have a facebook group you can say join my facebook group or message me for more information or um i don't know book a call with me for more information or for a free consultation session whatever whatever your call to action is um so now in the uh uh in the um six weeks client attraction bootcamp that I have, I go in a deep level detail in every single one of these items. Like I, I, I tell you exactly how to uh, write that call to action. So people will, uh, will do it when you ask them. So people will click on your link or how to write your statement. This is really important. It, it can't be any, any kind of statement. So it's also important in your branding and I'm going to show you in the bootcamp exactly how to write statement to resonate with your ideal client and to differentiate yourself from the crowd this is very important this is what branding is about because you might be a coach you might be a financial advisor you might be uh, in health and wellness you might be a network marketer you might be uh, selling jewelry or in other product based businesses but here's the thing you are not the only one hundreds and thousands of other people they are doing the same thing there are thousands of other coaches out there other financial advisors out there they are all using general statements so you really need to differentiate put yourself uh, set yourself apart from them and in the bootcamp i show you exactly in detail how to do that but for now if you don't have any statement just start with this just write about what you do, who you serve, how you serve. That's enough. Don't make it complicated. Don't break your head uh, for it. Just write that. It's, it's a very nice start, start point it's still, and it gives people a, a good idea of who you are and what you do and to help them decide if they want to connect with you or not. Now, um, Again, some more points about your uh, statement or vision statement, Aka, again, help statement. Um, write a powerful statement that resonates with your target audience. So again, about what you do, who you help, how you help. So there are some key elements in the vision statements that you need to pay attention to. Uh, the first thing is value. What is the value of the business for clients, to clients? second is inspiration why should people want to work with you what's in there for them third is credibility i mean make it sound reasonable then a specificity uh, tie it back to the business so when you're writing the vision statement consider these key elements and write a simple statement uh, if you want me to take a look at it, um, this is one of your assignments, your homeworks that you need to do. So uh, when you post your homeworks, uh, I'm going to go through all the homeworks that th through all the files that you uploaded as homework, and I'm going to give you feedback on all of them. So uh, 
if you want me to give feedback on your vision statement, all you need to do is just to complete your assignment and post it in the group. Now about bio. So uh, a lot of people, they leave the bio section blank. Don't leave it blank. Don't, and don't write general statements. For example, mom of two, family first, God first, or they just, uh, some people, they just put a quote, a motivational quote, or um, they put a very general statement, like I help people leave their nine to five job and start a new business or achieve financial freedom. This is too general. And again, you are not the only one who is writing this. Thousands of other people, they are doing that. So once I see this general statements, I'm like, okay, this is one, of, one like others. There's nothing that differentiate you. So it will make you like everyone else. And you don't want to be like everyone else. Okay. So uh, make your statement specific. Go back to the previous slide here and put into uh, consideration these elements. Uh, and in the bio, you can write the same health statement that you used in your cover photo. So it doesn't have to be something different from your what you had in your cover photo if you don't have anything new for that. Simply repeat the same statement in your bio. That's all perfect. You don't have to have write anything different. But you should differentiate yourself. And then put a call to action. You can put a call to action or not. But it's better to put a call to action because bio is on top right below your profile photo and everyone sees that. So you can put a link to your calendar or your website or you can just say message me for, for info or whatever you want them to do. Whatever you want people to do, uh, put this in call to action in your bio. And intro, again, a lot of people leave the intro blank. Intro is a perfect place that people can learn more about you. They can, if they want to uh, get more detail about you, about what to do, about your work, about where you live, uh, intro section is a perfect place to learn more details about you. So uh, fill in your intro section, like put as, uh, as much information as you can about yourself, about your workplaces, previous workplaces, about where you live, for example. Uh, for example, where you live is a great um, uh, conversation starter. Uh, I had people messaging me. Uh, for example, I live in Canada, Montreal. Uh, some people messaged me, hey, I'm from Montreal too, or hey, I, I, I was planning to travel to Montreal. So it's just a great uh, start point to continue a conversation with my ideal clients. So uh, I say, for example, oh yeah, uh, when is your travel or where do you live in Montreal? What do you do now? And you know, so the conversation continues until I build that relationship in the future and I turn them to buying clients. I write about your business, put your social media links. For example, you can put your, uh, the link to your LinkedIn profile, Instagram profile, to your website, etc. So what's next? Now, once you go through all these corrections, once you optimize your profile, now when people visit your profile, they will see clearly who you are. Um, they will know the person behind that business who is you and what you do and if you can serve them or not. If they relate to your profile and find value in your content, they'll start following you and in the next steps with your posting uh with your go lives with your um uh, promotion posters you can easily uh, convert them to clients so again uh a last time this is your target audience's path so they see your post they visit your profile if it's not optimized they leave if it's optimized, they start following you. Then through your postings, you build trust, authority, you build your brand, and through your postings, you uh, they show interest, and through your, through your promotion posters, you convert them. And I'm gonna show you how to do those 
hosting strategy. So now what I want you to do, I'm going to finish this slide and then I'm going to go show you some um, uh, Facebook profile who are uh, doing it wrong and some profiles who are doing it uh, correctly. So you will have an idea of what I, I've been talking about. So uh, what I want you to do for your assignment, take a screenshot of your current profile right now or when you, you, you finish this uh, video, take a screenshot of your current profile. Then start working on your profile and optimize it. Start implementing everything you learn about the uh, change your uh, profile photo if it's not good, change, design your uh, cover photo, uh, write your bio, fill in the intro section. And then at this point, when you're done with the optimization, take another screenshot and uh, post this before and after photo. You can create a post in the group. Feel free to do that. Or I will, uh, I will create an assignment post in the uh, guide section and you can comment this photo on that post. So it's really important that you do it. So actually you can, after you are done with your profile, when you see the difference, you will see the huge you know, difference between the before and after. And it will also motivate you with the, you know, knowing that you made the progress. And it's a good progress and it's going to make a huge change. And in next video, which is the day two video, I'm going to show you now how to define your niche. So this is the second step. You need to know who your ideal client is and then how to find them and how to bring them in your network. But if your profile is not optimized, when you find your ideal client and you want to connect with them, when they check your profile and it's not optimized and they don't see anything on your profile, they will refuse to connect with you. So it's important that you complete the first step before we move uh, to, the, to the second step. So now um, I want to remove this part here and uh, I would like to share another screen with you, which is about Facebook profiles. Okay, let's see how I can do that. I'm using StreamYard and I'm really new in this, so... Uh, okay. So, uh, in the meanwhile, let me know how, uh, how you liked it so far. Hit that like button if you liked it. And uh, tell me in the comments if you, uh, if you received value from what I showed you today. Okay, let's share the whole. Okay, I'm sharing the whole screen is the easiest way i guess so now let's move to this part okay so uh i'm sorry the um my computer speed is low today and i know why because i'm uh there are hundreds of windows open every time like on my computer so that's why it's a bit slow um oops okay so this is my own profile and as you can see uh it's disappeared again so as you can see uh the profile picture uh, everything is optimized there and I'm constantly working on my profile. So uh, once you change your profile, once you optimize it, don't leave it like that. You need to be constantly working on your profile. I, I, I think so far I've changed my, uh, my vision statement three, four times. 
I'm always looking to improve my vision statement because it's the one of the most important parts to uh, connect with my ideal clients. Uh, I'm always changing my, uh, my bio section, which is this section. So for example, now uh, before I had my vision statement in my bio, but now I'm promoting my five day to 10 K challenge. So I put uh, these statements uh, and I'm linking to put a, I put a link to my group so people can um, join my group to, uh, uh, to join the, ch uh, attend the challenge. And my cover photo, which includes my own photo and um, a quote of my own, and then my name, my logo. Again, if you don't have a logo, don't worry about that. You don't need to have a logo. Just put your name, that's it. And your title, who you are. Like my, mine is Saina Kozaini, success and wealth uh, strategist. This is the title I use to, to introduce myself. So if you are a, a business coach, you can say business coach, mindset coach, uh, health and wellness, prof um, health and wellness expert, or whatever uh, you are comfortable uh, to use, just put your title and your name and then your vision statement here. So uh, mine is helping women entrepreneurs redefine the way they do business and transition from being a business owner to becoming an entrepreneur. So again, uh, the intro section, I put all my information, like as much information as I can, like from my previous works uh, and like my link to my Instagram, my link to my LinkedIn, the link to my group. And then you can see my, my, my postings here. So if someone, for example, checks my profile, they can clearly see who I am, uh, what I do from my um, from my cover photo, and now they scroll down to my posters. Now they receive some value from my posters. When someone reads some of these posters, they learn something from each post. So uh, they may there is a high chance that they relate and uh, they will want to follow my profile, and. Again, my profile is uh, public. And just to show you, uh, for example, if I don't want to make this post public, uh, there is this earth sign on this corner. You can just click on that. When you, when you hover on it, it says public. So when you click on this, it will uh, show a menu. And from there, you will choose, you can choose to make it uh, visible only to friends or your friends except like some people or only me or specific friends so you can change the visibility of that post otherwise all my posters are public so everyone can see them and again this is important that you open your um, profile to everyone and uh it's all okay if you receive like maybe I receive personally at least 10 friend requests every day. And uh, I don't accept all of them uh, in the in the next days. I'm going to show you how to start accepting the friend requests. Uh, but it's a good thing. Actually, it shows that people are checking my profile and they want to connect. So. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to show you some examples of other profiles if it loads here. Okay, so for example, this profile, uh, you can see uh, clearly what kind of mistakes here we have. Profile picture is really nice, full face with a beautiful smile, but cover photo is a huge mistake. Again, uh, and I, I, I just chose these profiles from the, these are group members, I don't know them, but uh, please don't take it personally if you're watching this profile and I'm talking about your, uh, if you're watching this video and I'm talking about your profile, I don't mean to criticize you, I'm just uh, sharing uh, my knowledge and my ideas. So uh, don't take it personally. So um, the profile cover photo 
needs to be changed. So if the, if this person is an entrepreneur, an online business owner, and uh, I'm, I might be like, I might be her ideal client, but when I check her profile, yeah, I see a beautiful profile picture, but then nothing is covered for nothing in cover photo. Bio is left blank, nothing in bio, and intro is left blank. I don't see any information from this person. And then I check the profile, nothing in the posters. Okay, so what happens here is that I click on this uh close tab and i leave the profile because i didn't find anything in the profile i didn't relate maybe this person is in health and wellness maybe i'm looking for a health and wellness professional to connect uh, so but i check the profile i don't see anything so then i leave now this profile again beautiful profile picture full face bright smiling amazing photo uh again the cover photo is a huge mistake so the cover photo again should include your photo i recommend to include your photo if not it definitely should include your statement vision statement um uh the name includes three words uh as I recommended, you can uh, use the last name that you use uh, most, more often and you shorten the name. So the bio statement is core transitions dynamics specialist, taking you from where you are to where you want to be. This is too general. Uh, first of all, from core transitions dynamics specialist, it doesn't give a clear idea I, I have to maybe, I mean, uh, maybe I, I, I'm not really familiar with his with her field, but a person like me needs to go through some guesswork to to see what this person is doing. And then taking you from where you are to where you want to be is so general. Some people, they don't even know where they want to be. You know, they are still looking for their passion, for their life mission, stuff like that. So you need to be more specific in your vision statement. How do you help them? What you do, who you help, how you help. So when I read this, it's like, like the thousands of others uh, general statements that I read. So I, I don't relate, it's like the other ones. So uh, intro section is nice, like there are some information. You don't need to fill every single part of the intro. Uh, if you just, for example, say where you live, this is a great thing. Or uh, where you are from. Uh, and your post, for example, uh, the, the link to your um, calendar, the link to your calendar. So people, if someone wants, they can um, book a call with you, they click on that link and then your website and the posting. So these are value posters. And uh, I'm sure when you read posters, you will learn, you will get some value. And uh, this is great. This, uh, these type of postings, the value posters are great. And now uh, at least when I don't see any, anything specific in the, in the upper section, the, the most important uh, upper section of the profile, at least then I go to post this and when I read them, hopefully I will get some value and I will learn exactly what this person do. And uh, if I'm her target uh, audience, and if I will resonate and start following her. So uh, postings are also important. So next profile. is going slow yeah my computer is slow <laughs> okay it's not showing anything uh, great 
it is not loading now. Okay, great. So, uh oh, we have this profile here. Um, again, uh, here are the mistakes. The, the profile photo is a nice photo, but it's low quality. It's dark with some shades on the face. It would be, it would be great if if the photo was bright, if the lighting was from in in, in front of the face. Uh, so with the beautiful smile and the full face, that would make a great picture. But the the quality of the photo, it's still nice. I'm not saying uh, it's not acceptable. It's, it's still a nice photo. You can see the full face, but there is still room to work on quality and the brightness of the photo. Uh, cover photo is a huge mistake. Uh, it's just a quote from someone that you made. And I know that this person is from the group. Uh, I, I guess she's uh, in designing or branding or something, but when I check her profile, I don't see anything about that. Just one word here that doesn't give any idea about what she does. And intro only from uh, San Pablo City. Intro is almost left blank. And again, in the posting, uh, we don't see anything specific in posting. So now, uh, if I'm correct and uh, I, I think she is a branding specialist uh, because she was in the group uh, now if I'm an entrepreneur and I'm looking for a professional in branding and I check her profile I don't see anything specific in her profile I don't see clearly um, what she does and how she can help me in branding my business so what happens is that I just click on this Button and then I leave her profile. So uh, I had some more profiles to show you, but so far I'm. Uh, it's been one hour and a half that I'm talking, so I'm gonna leave these profiles for later. But if you want me to audit your profile, uh, simply uh, do your assignment. Then after that, send me a message. So in the next video. I'm, I'm going to spend some time to audit your profile and tell you exactly about the mistakes or uh, the, the adjustments you need to do on your profile. Again, another mistake, two people like the mommy, and I think it's the, it's the kid in the picture. It's a beautiful, adorable picture. But again, you are the face of your brand. You need to brand yourself. So it shouldn't be a picture of two or three people or a family in the profile picture. It should be your own picture nothing in the cover photo nothing in the um in the bio intersection is nice you can see some information and posting when i scroll down to the posting i don't see i don't see anything i don't see any value posters so it doesn't give me any idea of what this person does uh, or who she is so if she is a business owner and uh maybe i'm her ideal client but when i check the profile i don't see anything so eventually i leave so now uh, i'm gonna close all these windows so hopefully the speed will go up a bit and this picture again beautiful profile picture again cover photo nothing is bio nothing in bio um nothing in intro so it's it's there's nothing in, in the profile. Okay, so again, I check this profile. Uh, there's nothing inside, and I may not want to connect. So I'm gonna close all these windows. This one too. Now Canva. Uh, coming to Canva, as I said, you can uh, you can design your. Uh, cover photo with Canva. So just uh, when you want to create a new uh, design, just type Facebook cover photo and Canva will, will bring all these um, templates for Facebook cover. So you can just, uh, just use uh, one template for now is good, like nice templates. You don't need to pay a designer. You don't need to spend hours 
on designing your own cover photo it took me like uh two three hours to design my own cover photo uh it seems easy but thinking about how to design it where to put all the elements how to position my picture what to write it, it takes a lot of time but you can simply use canva it's already designed uh, customizable templates so uh you can just use this uh pictures for example this one if you are in fitness just uh replace this photo with your own uh replace this image with your own photo and uh here you can upload some photos and replace it and here put your own name and then your statement for example i i want to put just to show you oops uh, okay for example i want to put my own photo so i can just replace it with my own photo just to i i'm sure all of you you know how canva works so here you can just replace this name with your name really fast and easy and uh, you don't need to spend like hours on thinking about how to design it where to put your name it's really easy so here it is and then for example here i can uh i can put a vision statement for example helping um busy mom pronouns to lose weight without spending uh hours at gym this could be a nice statement because i clearly say who i help busy mompreneur to lose weight without spending hours at gym or uh for example uh with uh with a daily plan of meals or or however you help them just put your uh, vision statement uh in the boot camp in the six week client attraction boot camp uh i work with all of you uh in group like uh i go through all the uh vision statements because i give you the same homework and i i ask everyone to create their vision statement and then i go through them one by one and i give uh, feedback to every single one of you and i show you exactly how to um, craft your uh, vision statement and how to most importantly uh, differentiate yourself and set yourself apart from the others because again uh, i'm not the only one who is working in this field who is a business coach who is a a fitness trainer who is a, a nutritionist who, nutrition coach let's say who is a mindset coach so uh, it's important again to set yourself apart so uh this is all it, it took so long uh i i i i wouldn't i wasn't expecting this uh thank you so much for staying with me and for watching this i hope it was helpful for you and oh we have a great value I have made the changes to my facebook profile from a previous video this is a comment i just received that's great i'm, I'm glad that you received value uh again beautiful ladies as you see in the next videos if you want uh again i'm, I'm going live with streamline uh stream uh stream yard and stream yard StreamYard doesn't show your photo and name uh, when you comment. So if you wanted to show your name, so I will know who this beautiful lady is uh, commenting, just click on the link at the bottom of the post of this uh, video and allow StreamYard to show your name and photo. So I will see it. For example, uh, this beautiful lady did that. So I can see her uh, photo and name. Uh, what is the, uh, the purpose of putting learn more button on cover page if it cannot be clicked? Uh, 
it cannot be clicked but when people click on your cover photo uh, your cover photo pops up and then you can add the description to your cover photo so you can insert the link there that's the purpose so I want them to click on my cover photo so they will see the description and eventually my link is in my description. So uh, you can just try it on my profile. Click uh, on my cover photo, my, then my cover photo will pop up and then at the bottom you will see the description and you will see what I mean. <laughs> so um, that was all. I hope you like it. Thank you for sharing. My pleasure. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, please, please start uh, working on your Facebook profile, start optimizing it, uh, post your assignments. And uh, on Saturday, uh, on Sunday, uh, I'm going to see you in the day two video and uh, I'll show you how to define your niche. And uh, this is a huge question for uh, a lot of uh, online business owners and entrepreneurs is how and where do I find my ideal client? And I'm going to show you how to do this in the next video. See you in there. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.